Have you ever wondered how aircraft engines work and the different types available? Let's embark on a journey that will demystify the roar of an airplane taking off, the quiet hum of a cruising flight, or the rapid burst of a rocket launch. Aircraft engines, the beating heart of any flying machine, are marvels of modern engineering. They convert fuel into raw power, thrusting our aircraft into the sky and defying gravity. These powerhouses ensure that our planes, helicopters and even spacecraft can traverse the skies and beyond. There's a fascinating variety of engines, each with its own unique design, purpose and operating principles. From the turboshaft engines that power helicopters to the turbojet engines that propel commercial jets, and all the way to the rocket engines that send astronauts into space. The world of aircraft engines is diverse and awe-inspiring. Join us as we dive into the world of aircraft engines. First on our list is the turboshaft engine. This marvel of engineering is a type of gas turbine that is uniquely designed to deliver high torque to a rotating shaft. Unlike its turbojet or turbofan relatives, the turboshaft engine does not rely on jet thrust for propulsion. Rather, it extracts energy from its exhaust gases to rotate a shaft, which can then be used to power anything from a helicopter's rotor to a propeller on a small aircraft. The main components of a turboshaft engine include a compressor, combustion chamber, and a turbine. Air is drawn into the compressor where it's pressurized and then introduced into the combustion chamber. Fuel is added, ignited, and the resulting high-pressure gas is directed onto the turbine blades, causing them to spin and output power via the rotating shaft. Commonly found in helicopters and smaller, agile aircraft, turboshaft engines are compact powerhouses offering a great balance between power output and size. Turboshaft engines are compact powerhouse. Next up, we have the turboprop engine. This marvel of engineering is a type of gas turbine engine where most of the work done by the exhaust gases is used to drive a propeller through a reduction gear. A bit like having a windmill attached to a jet engine, if you will, turboprop engines are most commonly found in small to medium-sized aircraft. Why, you ask? Well, they offer a unique blend of both power and efficiency, a middle ground between piston engines and turbojets. They are particularly effective at lower speeds and altitudes often seen in regional airliners and military transport aircraft. In essence, the turboprop engine combines the best of both worlds, the power of a jet, with the fuel efficiency and reliability of a propeller-driven aircraft. It's a balancing act of design, performance and efficiency, and it's a balance that the turboprop engine manages quite beautifully. Turboprop engines offering a balance of power and efficiency Moving on, we explore the turbojet engine. This marvel of engineering is the granddaddy of jet engines, the first of its kind to be commercially successful. The turbojet engine operates on the principle of drawing in air at the front, compressing it, combining it with fuel, and igniting it. The resulting high-speed exhaust gases then propel the aircraft forward. This engine type is particularly renowned for its high-speed capabilities. When speed is of the essence, the turbojet engine is the go-to choice. This is why you'll often find them powering high-speed military aircraft like fighter jets. However, it's not all about speed. Turbojet engines are also incredibly efficient at high altitudes, making them ideal for long-haul flights. But like all things, they have their drawbacks. They can be quite noisy and are not as fuel efficient as some of their more modern counterparts. In essence, when you're looking at turbojet engines, you're looking at the heart of high-speed aviation. Turbojet engines, the choice for speed. Now let's look at the turbofan engine. The turbofan engine, ladies and gentlemen, is a marvel of modern engineering. It's a type of air-breathing jet engine that is widely used in aircraft propulsion. The key characteristic of a turbofan lies in its large fan at the front of the engine. This fan pulls in a large volume of air a portion of which bypasses the engine core, providing additional thrust. The beauty of the turbofan design is its efficiency. It allows for a significant reduction in fuel consumption compared to older turbojet engines. This makes turbofan engines an excellent choice for long-haul flights. Most commercial aircraft you see in the sky today are powered by turbofan engines. From the mighty Boeing 747 to the nimble Airbus A320, 
These engines are the workhorses of the aviation industry, keeping our skies buzzing and our world connected. Turbofan engines, the heart of commercial aviation. Entering the realm of supersonic, we have the ramjet and scramjet engines. Think of these engines as the speed demons of the aviation world. Ramjets and scramjets are air-breathing engines that use the forward motion of the aircraft to compress incoming air before combustion. But they've got some differences that set them apart. Ramjet, or ramjet engine if you will, is a form of jet engine that uses the engine's forward motion to compress incoming air. Without a need for an axial compressor, fuel is then injected in the combustion chamber where it mixes with the hot compressed air and ignites. There's a catch though. Ramjets can't start from a standstill. They require an assisted takeoff like a rocket booster to reach operational speeds. Now let's kick it up a notch and talk about scramjets or supersonic combusting ramjets. They are a variant of a ramjet air-breathing jet engine in which combustion takes place in supersonic airflow. As in ramjets, a scramjet relies on high vehicle speed to forcefully compress the incoming air before combustion. But a scramjet's efficient operation range is much higher. Starting from around Mach 6 up to Mach 15 or even more, both these engines are especially useful in applications requiring a high speed. We're talking about hypersonic speeds here, so they're often used in things like fast jets and missiles. In fact, the fastest X-43 unmanned hypersonic aircraft, which holds a world record for speed, was powered by a scramjet. The beauty of these engines lies in their simplicity and the raw power they can generate. However, they also have their limitations. For instance, the speed range in which they can operate efficiently is quite narrow. This means they're often not suitable for slower aircraft. So there you have it, ramjet and scramjet engines. Two powerhouses of the aviation world pushing the boundaries of speed and performance. They might not be perfect for every situation, but when it comes to high-speed flight, they're in a league of their own. Ramjet and scramjet engines, the epitome of high-speed aviation. Taking us beyond the skies, we have the rocket engine. Rocket engines are true wonders of engineering, designed for the sole purpose of propelling us into the cosmos. Unlike their air-breathing counterparts, rocket engines don't require an external source of oxygen. Instead, they carry their own oxygen supply, or oxidizer, allowing them to function in the vacuum of space. Rocket engines work on a simple principle, expelling gas out of one end to move in the opposite direction. This is based on Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. The more mass they eject at high speed, the faster they go. These engines find their primary use in spacecraft, from launching satellites to propelling exploratory missions to far-flung celestial bodies. From the iconic Saturn V that took us to the moon to the modern Falcon 9, rocket engines have been at the heart of our spacefaring adventures. Rocket engines powering our journey into space. Last but not least, we have the gas turbine engine. A gas turbine engine, often dubbed as the workhorse of the modern age, is a type of internal combustion engine. It has an upstream compressor coupled to a downstream turbine with a combustion chamber in between. Air is drawn in, compressed and then ignited with fuel to generate a high-speed flow of gas that drives the turbine and ultimately powers the engine. What sets gas turbine engines apart is their wide-ranging applications. While they're essential in the world of aviation, their use extends far beyond that. They're used in power plants for electricity generation, in ships for propulsion, and even in tanks and trains. In aviation, gas turbine engines take the form of jet engines. You see, a jet engine is a gas turbine engine, but it's specifically designed to propel an aircraft by jet propulsion. The most common types of jet engines like turbojets, turbofans and turboprops are all variations of the gas turbine engine. Now, why are gas turbine engines so popular, particularly in aviation? Well, their high power to weight ratio makes them an excellent choice for aircraft. They're able to deliver large amounts of power while remaining relatively light and compact. This is a crucial factor in aviation where every pound matters. In addition to this, gas turbine engines are known for their reliability. They have fewer moving parts than many other types of engines, which means there's less that can go wrong. This makes them a dependable choice in situations where failure is not an option. But it's not just about power and reliability. Gas turbine engines are also remarkably efficient. 
especially when operating at high speeds. This makes them an ideal choice for applications like long-haul flights, where fuel economy is a key consideration. So whether it's keeping our lights on, powering our ships, or flying us around the world, gas turbine engines play a pivotal role in our modern lives. They're a testament to the incredible advancements in engineering and technology that we've seen over the past century. Gas turbine engines, versatile and powerful. So there you have it, eight types of aircraft engines. We've taken a deep dive into the world of aviation, exploring the mechanics and marvels that power our flights. From the turboshaft engines, the workhorses of the helicopter world, to the turboprop engines, a blend of power and efficiency. We've discussed the turbojet engines, the classic powerhouse, and turbofan engines, balancing thrust and fuel economy. We've delved into the realms of high-speed flight with the ramjet and scramjet engines, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. We ventured into space with the rocket engines, defying gravity itself. And lastly, we've looked at the versatile gas turbine engines, a key component in a variety of applications. Each engine, unique and essential, contributes to the diverse landscape of aviation. Next time you see an aircraft, you'll know a bit more about what's powering it.